It was at this moment that he knew. He f***ed up. Ah. Does Fringe Sports' newest multi-grip Swiss bar take the title of best budget multi-grip bar, or is it just another dime store knockoff? The No Fake Channel, checking in. Jonathan here, and Fringe Sport has just released the newest multi-grip Swiss bar. We're gonna compare it against Titans, Reps, and a host of other multi-grip bars to see if the juice is worth the squeeze. Now, full disclosure, I actually paid $168 for this barbell. It normally retails for $300, but they had it on sale, and they sent out a 25% off coupon, so I was able to double dip. Yeah, buddy! You can do a whole host of different exercises with the multi-grip bar. Bent over rows, seal rows, pendulum rows, uh, Viking presses. But the reality is most of you are gonna be getting a multi-grip bar in order to bench. The neutral grip positions of the multi-grip bar allow you to put your wrist and your shoulder in a much more natural, neutral position, taking a lot of the stress and strain off of both. Now on a multi-grip Swiss bar, the second and third handle options are actually recessed. And that allows you to get a longer range of motion on your bench press, allowing your hands to even come below your chest. And it is great for chest activation. What did Fringe Sport get right with their Swiss bar? Well, off the top, number one by far is that they had good source material, meaning they kind of copied or borrowed the kabuki design and that's thought to be one of the best swiss bars out there also this bar comes in at 40 pounds which is very close to mimicking your standard barbell there are some multi-grip bars like the bells of steel that comes in significantly lower than your typical barbell making plate math Bit more difficult. The $300 retail price for this Swiss bar is very competitive, but we know Fringe Sport, they oftentimes throw discounts, coupons, and deals of the day, so I would expect you should be able to pick this up almost any day of the week under $300. Now, I previously mentioned I paid $168 and I double dipped. I think that was a glitch in the matrix because after I told a bunch of my friends and posted it on my Instagram story, they actually did away with that double dipping option. And frankly, I don't think you'll be able to see that 168 price tag anytime soon. Now this bar fits very nicely inside my PR 4000 Rep Fitness Power Rack, and it has some good clearance. So it's unlikely that when you're lifting, you're gonna end up clipping your J-cups, your safeties, or actually clip your power rack itself. Now, some of the more budget multi-grip bars are fairly wide. And what that means is it's very difficult to stabilize and to align your hands correctly. I will say this one is on the more narrow side, and that's obviously a bonus. Now, the knurling on here is passive, but it's there. And it's always good to have some sort of knurling at the minimum. Now, the biggest standout for me on this fringe sport multi-grip Swiss bar has to be the handles. They picked the perfect angle. Every one of these just feels good. And you can see there's more of an angle as you get closer to the middle and activate more of your triceps, and it becomes more of an actual neutral grip the wider you go. And it just feels good. Which I, whichever handle I was using, every time it just felt like it was the right angle for that position. And it feels different. It feels fantastic. We all know you can't go budget without making some sacrifices, without cutting a few corners, without removing a few of the bells and whistles. So what did Fringe Sport do to keep that price point down? Number one is this middle piece. They actually just kind of welded it in here. You need to have this middle piece, but I wish they made it just a little bit shorter so that it sat below the actual top and bottom of this arc. Reason being is when I was benching with this thing and I was doing pause sets, I could feel that middle bar just kind of sitting on my sternum. And frankly, it was distracting. And I don't lift that heavy. I imagine if you were going to go 250 or even 315, that would be a significant kind of uh, when you hit your chest. I need to give all of you a massive thank you. You have been using my affiliate links, which are in the description of today's video. And now when you use those links, they clearly help support me, but they more importantly help me produce future content. Also, it's not just one-sided. When you use those links, let me know so that I can send you a small token of my appreciation. Another design feature that I absolutely hate is this ringlet at the top. Reason being, it's absolutely 
useless. I will tell you that they put this here with the idea that you will eventually remove the sleeves and connect this to a lat pull down or low row machine in order to make it multifunctional. But the reality is it's never gonna happen. You're not that guy, pal, trust me. You're not that guy. You're never gonna do it. You're not gonna take the time to unbolt the sleeves. And even if you did, this thing is so heavy, it's gonna be near impossible to connect it, clip it in to your lat pull down. Another issue you notice right away, unfortunately, with the Fringe Sport is the coating. Not quite sure which coating they use, but you can see that I haven't had this for long and you're already getting chipping along the bottom. I would imagine this is only gonna propagate. The longer that we have it, the more chipping you're gonna see. The final two, budget issues have to do with the sleeves. And you're gonna notice these as soon as you assemble it, as well as as soon as you use it. I will tell you the good things about the sleeves are that they are smooth, that they fit Olympic plates. Also, they will fit all of your standard collars. And the end caps look pretty decent as well. However, they are chrome plated and they're fairly cheap. You notice it as soon as you pick them up. Also, the ones that I got already have some weird staining on a few of the spots that is not something I could rub off. And since I haven't used it very much to begin with, I can't imagine it was anything that I did in terms of actually loading or unloading plates. The bolts. Now this is me just being nitpicky. I will tell you straight off the top. They do their job. They hold the bar together very firmly and this thing isn't gonna go anywhere anytime soon. However, they're fully exposed. So you kind of see some uh, threading over here on the bolts that's just not nearly as aesthetic as I would like. If they had spent maybe 50 cents or a dollar more per bar, they probably could have gotten some cheapo sleeves that look shiny and would have given it a much more better aesthetic in the long run. The Bells of Steel Multi-Grip Swiss Bar has a similar arc configuration to Fringe Sports. Now this bar, it's been around for a while, retailing for $200. The two big setbacks on this bar is that the knurling is rather passive and the bar itself is light compared to a barbell, making it a little confusing when you're adding plates. Titan Fitness Multi-Grip Camber Bar version three. This one is a solid contender for the best budget multi-grip bar, frankly, because of the price point. It starts off at $2.29, but we know Titan Fitness, they never sell anything at retail, always having discounts. And frankly, if you wait long enough, they're just gonna email you a 10% off coupon code. I picked up the one that I have, $197 with free shipping. Now Titan Fitness also had good source material because they copy theirs directly from Elite FTS's multi-grip camber bar version. But to Titan's credit, they have made some significant upgrades. And I will say that the knurling is fairly aggressive, which is nice. I wish a lot of the other bars had a bit more aggressive knurling, but again, beggars can't be choosers. Woo! You can say what you want about Titan Fitness, but when it comes to this multi-grip camber bar, They've done nothing but improve every time they've put out a new version. And this one has to be the best one yet. Reason being is that they tapered the sides to give you even more clearance and protection on your power rack, as well as the fact that the coating is fantastic. Now I've had this bar over a year. I do use it regularly. No chips, no scratches, no signs of wear and tear or rust. Now the Titan Fitness version is a tad wider than some of the competition we're talking about today. That does make for a bit more instability. Now to combat this, they actually added a little marker dead center in the knurling so you know really where exactly to line up your hands and there's a lot less guesswork. Now one small stutter step when it comes to this newest version from Titan Fitness has to do with the collars. They actually went from Olympic size collars down to axle collars. So it will still fit your Olympic plates, but if you typically use collars on your bars, you're gonna need to make sure you go out and get a pair of axle collars. The Rep Fitness Multi-Grip Camber Bar retails for $289 and by far and large has to be the most aesthetic of all the bars we're talking about today. First and foremost, the sleeves, best in class. As soon as you pick them up to assemble this thing, you can feel the weight. You know the quality of those hard chrome sleeves. They're nice and smooth. They've got laser etching on the end, as well as the fact that the bolts that connect the sleeves to the bar actually have sleeves on them, making it, again, just a bit more aesthetic. Now, Rep Fitness also uses rounded tubing, making this just a bit more comfortable when it hits your chest or if you're doing paused bench press. I will say that they, too, added an eye 
pilot for the middle for all of the one people that would remove the sleeves in order to connect this to a lat pull down and low row machine. The good thing about this is that they made it removable and I have never inserted it since the day I bought this thing and you probably won't either. Oh. It was at this moment that he knew he f***ed up. Now Rep Fitness does have a nice diameter handle, really good for pressing, and I will say that the knurling comes in medium, slightly above fringe sport and slightly below the Titan Fitness multi-grip cambered bar. Fringe Panic. Sport Boom. is a solid company, and their owner, Peter Keller, fantastic guy. Every time you see him on an interview, he comes off as honest and original, authentic, and no phoniness about him. I will say that they do make good home gym equipment, and their prices tend to be just a little bit higher than comparable competition, but they do run sales very frequently. One of the biggest standouts with Fringe Sport is their customer service. One of the best in class, and I will tell you that this multi-grip Swiss bar came with a massive gouge right here on the second handle. I emailed them, and within two hours, they got back to me and said I could return it on them, and I could get either my full refund or I could get a brand new bar sent out. And now it's time. It is time for my final thoughts on the Fringe Sport Multi-Grip Bar. And frankly, I think their version two, with a few small changes, is gonna be a massive contender. If you can find this version for 168, yeah, it's a no-brainer, but I think you're never gonna find that price point. I think that was an error at Fringe Sport and a flash in the pan. Now, if you are on a tight budget, it might ultimately come down to which multi-grip bar has the best sale at the time that you're picking it up. But based on retail, I have to kind of point you in the direction of Titan Fitness. They have ironed out a ton of the kinks from their first iteration, and frankly, it's the best bar for the price point. So YouTube artificial intelligence knows that this video, it's exactly what you're looking for. And if you made it this far, we're officially best friends. Shake and bake. Don't save anything for the trip back.